menin kysymään niin sanotusti faneilta, eli nuorisolta, että mitä kannattaisi pelata. Ja sieltä tuli hirveä lista sitten asioita, että mitä erilaisia pelejä, mitä voisi pelata. Tämä peli, mitä seuraavaksi pelataan, on Horace. Se on platformeri. Mä oon äärimmäisen huono platformereissa. Ei se mitään. <laughs> Katsotaan, miten näin jälleen käy. Ihan oikeasti tää voi. Koska toi vähän ehkä kovalla toi pelin puolue, mitä tällä hetkellä. Taitaa olla ihan siedettävällä tasolla. Versio 2.0 Robotti ruttunen Näitä grafiikkoja pitää kyllä olla ah, ensimmäinen versio. Täytyy kyllä rakastaa. It's alive. Täällä on ainakin ukkos myöskin. Solomon Automatics. Jaha, mihinköhän robottia vielä? And so, I was born. The first people I remember seeing were the old man, the old lady, and their daughter, Heather. After they'd said hello, the old man powered me down so he could install some software. <laughs> Personality access I could tell him a nice people. The old Steve man would give me a silly voice or stupid personality. And the old lady didn't dress me like a clown. Although for some reason, Heather really didn't like me. Un Once I had valley. time to get used to walking, the old man asked me to dash from one end of the room to the other. Okay. I think that's a tutorial. Next, the old man spent a couple of hours building some wooden platforms. He said he wanted me to jump up them, but I must admit, I was scared. <laughs> it wasn't until I saw Heather and her mother happily climbing up them that I decided it might be okay. Kas 
riippuu siitä, että onko se ihan pixel perfect tää, ää, tän tasohyppelypelin toi. No okei. Okay. Eli voi viin pari laajapikselilläkin niin näköjään tason päällä seisoon. Niin. Aika monet tasohyppelypelit hän auttaa vaan pelaajaa tosi paljon. Pehmentää sitä. The old man then rearranged the platforms. He told me to try to reach the other end of the room without touching the floor. Floor is Heather lava. Said, the floors made it <laughs> no, niin But when I smiled at her, she just frowned and looked away. The old lady arranged Katja some pillows and blankets. She perheessa. said it was in case I fell, but I think she just wanted it to look more like lava. Okei, tossa näköjään aika lisävarkaa pitää. Okei. When I reached the other side, the old man just smiled and said, that'll do, for now. Sitten minusta otettiin virrat pois. Learning to walk. A couple of days after those first lessons, the family had a big meal. And I was introduced to everyone else. The professor was the old man's brother. He was very quiet, and always seemed to just kind of stare at me. Mukava. He had lived with the old man for five years. The house was so huge they barely saw each other. He preferred instead to stay in his room, leaving everything up to his butler, Mr. Deck. Deck. As he insisted everyone call him, although the professor always called him Adam. For a while, he called me the yellow bastard. But the old man made him stop, as he thought it sounded racist. Mr. Silton was the old man's driver. Before he worked here, he'd gotten in with some bad people and was the driver in a post office robbery. Although it all went wrong for some reason. Mr. Silton showed me a video <laughs> of his band. I'm sure some people must like it. Ei, ei kannata oman firman autolla ryöstää pankkia kyllä. Then there was Alice. She was the cook. She was a nice old lady. When she was younger, she had been a TV chef. Then, years later, she had a small part in Coronation Street. <laughs> Coronation Street. <laughs> Mr. Silton said, before she worked for the old man, Alice was quite a hoarder. She kept her old newspapers and bicycles, oh. and something about a pool in a shoebox. Oh, oh. The next morning, the old man gathered everyone together to show them what I was capable of. What else does he do? asked Mr. Silton. The old man smiled. He can help around the house. Ei muuta Could he help me with my sen. newspaper collecting? asked Alice. I'm not sure that's a good idea, said the old lady, but he can do all sorts of jobs. Yeah, said Mr. Silton, shove a stick up his ass and he can do Dex job. <laughs> now, now, said the old man, we have company, pointing to some important looking people. Two large men, both called Gary, set up what the old man referred to as lasers. He said again, I should try to get from one end of the room to the other, but I shouldn't be worried, as I had a special chip which meant no matter how damaged I was, I couldn't die. He uh -huh. said it was like infinite lies in a video game. Uh -huh. <laughs> but when he realized I didn't understand, he said he would explain another time. Ainakin tuossa hyvin varoittaa ennen, ennen kuin tulee. Kot 
tulee sivutusunnassa laasereita varmasti. Everybody clapped, except the important looking men. Not exactly a cold calculated killer, is it? Said the man in black. The man mm. in grey laughed. What kind of artificial intelligence was that? He asked. Move right, unless there's something in the way. Huh. Okay, okay, said the old man. He turned to me and whispered, they're going to make it quite a bit tougher. But I'm sure you'll be fine. Tää näköjään elää tuolla pahvilaatikossa. Ouch. Garry's then rearranged the room one last time. The old man smiled. Now, now, there's no need to look so glum, he said. I'm still happy with everything you've done today. So this time, I was determined to do him proud. Robotilla osa hymyillä. Ouch. Toi oli ehkä hirveen hyvä juttu. friends actually seemed quite happy when I made it through. We might have a winner after all, said the man in black. It's no Killbot 3000, <laughs> Kill but you can almost see the fire in its eyes. Uh. A couple of days later, the old Bad lady the said she had a surprise for me, my own room. She also wanted to play me some music. I wasn't sure after what Mr. Silton had shown me. <laughs> As if music wasn't amazing enough, the old lady then bought me a television set. I couldn't believe what I saw. I watched everything I could. Comedy, drama, horror, sci-fi. Anything anyone wanted to watch I would happily watch with them. Then one day, the old man set up a small box. He plugged some cables into the television and said, this is what I meant when I said video games. 
played games at every chance I could. I took on everyone. I was unstoppable. I had enjoyed music, film, and television. But to me, video games really were <laughs> the highest art form. Yo, I got me. <laughs> Pong, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tablet. Table tennis for two. Okay. Ilmeisesti on, on mini aika paljon tässä horasessa. Ups. Mä yritin lyödä kierrätä. Vähän edistyneen pongklooni. Muistan perlaan 4800-luvulla ensimmäisen kerran tämmöstä vastaavaa. Her mum and dad had bought her a camera and arranged a day up by the sea so that Heather could take some photos. Okay, Although I really don't think she wanted any pictures of me. When the old man asked the professor if he wanted to go, he frowned and said, I can't believe you want to spend time with that thing. It could destroy the world. <laughs> I wasn't sure what he meant. The, 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 the old man just my smiled my and said, That's what you said about the Game Boy. Anton, how about you? I don't Game think point. so, said Mr. Deck. The last time I got in that car, Barry crashed us into a branch at Woolworths. I never would have gone into Woolworths of my own accord. <laughs> the old man explained that the car was old and the brakes had failed, but Mr. Deck was having none of it. So Mr. Silton drove, and Alice came along for the fresh air. I enjoyed being outside. Although, the old lady kept telling me to be careful of the rickety old walkways. It felt like she was telling me off, but I think she was just concerned. As the old man and I stood on the cliff tops, I could see something in the distance. I wasn't sure what it was, so I asked the old man. He said it was a battleship that had sunk in the 1940s. But he looked so sad when he spoke about war. I didn't see what happened, but the metal platform Heather was climbing on had collapsed. She was safe, even if the rocks she was on looked very dangerous. The tide was rising and we didn't know how long the coast guard was going to be. So I offered to climb down and get her. The old man agreed, but said I should be careful, no. as Heather doesn't have infinite lives, like I do. Jaha! Robotti! Pelastushetkille. Ja tää onkin vähän... ...vaarallisempi. Her head was unconscious, and her leg was broken. Ouch. So I picked her up as gently as I could. I decided it would be best if I didn't run the rest of the way. Hmm. Yeah, that's 
sähköjohtoja. An ambulance had arrived by the time I had made it back to the cliff top. The medics made sure Heather was okay, and then took her off to hospital. A few days later, we all went to see how she was doing. She was fine, but would have to wear the cast for a couple of months. Okay, Newton, we Once Heather got to know me, we became good friends. We enjoyed the same films and TV. She was also annoyingly good at some of my favorite games. After a while, she became very interested in how I worked. Soon she knew as much about me as the old man did. <laughs> if not more. <laughs> We spent the next couple of months visiting other countries, as when it came to teaching me things, the old man always liked to pick interesting locations. He had explained the basics of mathematics to me at the Great Pyramid of Egypt. Taught me history in the dead of night, surrounded by mysterious giant stones. And even showed me science in action high up in a hot air balloon. This is why I was surprised when the old man took me to a restaurant. It was nice, but it seemed very somber compared to the previous grand locations. He said he just wanted to chat, and this was nice and quiet. Plus it was his favorite place to eat. We talked about life, the universe, <laughs> darkness <laughs> and <laughs> everything really. When I asked him why were we here, why did we exist? He just smiled and said, life is like a game, just don't expect to be finished anytime soon. When I looked puzzled, he said, well, everyone should have a purpose. So I asked him, what's my purpose? He thought for a bit, then said, so you want to be a real boy? Which just confused me even more. Hmm. Eventually the old man said, for now, I want you to help clean things around the house. I must have looked unimpressed. As he then said, Okay. I want you to clean one million things. It didn't sound like the meaning of life. But I suppose you've got to start somewhere. My purpose. The next day, the old man said he wanted to install some more software, so he powered me down. When I came to, he said Mr. Silton had a joke for me, and that I should pull his finger. I don't think I got the joke. So the old man powered me down again. <laughs> asana, asana this time homori. when I pulled Mr. Silton's finger, I got the joke. But it wasn't very funny. <laughs> The old man then explained that he had installed a special chip which allowed me to clean away anything that was broken. He said it also tells me how many things are nearby, and how many smaller things are in a bigger thing. It all sounded very complicated, but he said all I really had to do was pause, and it would bring up all the information I needed. He then said he wanted me to find and clean all of the items in the room. He told me there would be some chains to climb, but that would be nice and easy, as I just had to press up. 
He then finished by saying, when I had collected all the items, I should come back here. Tämä muuten taitaisi sopia lapsille tämä peli. Ihan, ihan niin kuin, jos ymmärtää kieltä siis. No siinä näkyy ne numerot sitten. Näiden kohdalla ne saisi kerättyä. Ei ollut kannattavaa. Kuoli roskia kerätessä. <laughs> the old man then asked the old lady Heather and I to follow Musta, him outside. Mustakseni ketjua pitkin pitää hyppiä. To... Joo, kosti, tää on ihan totta. Vähän ikävä teema myöhemmin huomaat jo se, että joo. Tää on vahvasti tarinapohjana. Heather said, this would be a perfect chance to properly test my new powers. The old man thought for a second, then said, 
using the step-toe chip, I should find and clean, at least 300 things. When we explained to Alice what we wanted to do, she seemed scared. But after the old lady kindly explained that, well, the barn was starting to smell, she said it would be okay. One last thing, said the old man, if you want to use a door, just push up. Huh? Okay. When I was about to enter the old barn, Mr. Silton said he had seen some mushrooms growing inside. He asked me to give him any that I found, he then winked, but I wasn't sure why. Okay. <laughs> Kans lampu. Dio, ei ku dioi. Miks täällä on sähköjohtoja ympärissä? No. Tää kertaan täytyy päästä tuosta reittiä. Keskimmäinen ovi saattaa olla exit. Aika box stream joo, tän nimenomaan. Niin se, että se ilmoittaa, että all chunk cleared, niin se on vaan tästä ruudusta. Onhan siellä kaksi ovea lisää kyllä. Tänään en ihan totta. Tää on taas esimerkki tästä näin peli uiin, että miten se kommunikoi. Okei, okay, all chunk cleared, siis kertoo, että tästä huoneesta. Chunk tota, all chunk held, okei. Okay. No niin, olisiko nyt? Ei. <laughs> Mitä muuta te haluatte mun tehdä? Huu, uh, juuri näin. Olenko minä joku robottiorja vai? Ilmeisesti kyllä. Lisää ovia. Okei, käydään järjestyksessä. Tämä on tarkistettu. Aa, siellä oli sieniä. Auton keräämissä menee hetki aikaa. Sauks. 
Mä en luistaa näitään saappaat. Ei lisää ovia. No niin. The old man was very happy no niin. with everything that I had Saatiin. created. Ei was even more happy with his mushrooms. Astiltonen mushroomit. No niinpä tietysti. Jo sillä, että saappassa ja kitkaa saatetaan hakea jossain peleissä vähän lisää vaikeutta siihen, että sä joudut vähän. It wasn't the days getting shorter, or the evenings getting colder. It was the falling leaves that really made me feel sad. As we watched the trees blowing in the breeze, the old lady said, The leaves must fall before the blossom comes. She had already explained the seasons to me, so for once, I actually understood. But it didn't make me feel any better. The old lady obviously had enough of my moping, and said, Right, next week we're going to have a party. For some reason she insisted that we were all going to wear costumes. Heather was very excited and said, I've got some perfect ideas. Hmm. Halloween juhla. Niinpä tietysti. Mikähän minipeli tässä tulee. Se tuntuu tosi paha entiseltä. Siitä mä pm. It was terrifying. Everyone was dressed like someone else. I think I was meant to be some kind of pumpkin, as everyone kept shouting, It's the great pumpkin. Still, at least Mr. Silton was having fun telling everyone his joke. And I suppose Heather's costume was quite flattering. Huh. After what seemed like forever, everybody left, and things got back to normal. Heather was allowed to watch a scary film before she went to bed, but I had to help Alice and Mr. Deck clean up. You, I wasn't happy about this, but the old man said if I was quick, then I could watch the end of the film with them. Alice was vacuuming, and Mr. Deck was taking down the decorations, so I thought I should clean up the plates and glasses. Vieraat on melkoisia sikoja. The ear splitting sound was the fire alarm. Oh. As usual, Mr. Deck blamed Mr. Silton, saying he was probably smoking one of his jazz cigarettes. But then the professor appeared. He said that there was something burning in the kitchen. Alice looked confused, saying that she hadn't cooked anything since the morning. We were all surprised when Mr. Deck opened the oven. Inside was a large black cloak and a slightly burnt pair of men's underwear. Suddenly the old lady burst in. She looked terrified. She kept shouting, there's someone on the roof. When we went outside, it slowly became obvious that it was Mr. Silver. He was completely naked and playing his guitar. Uh -huh. He shouted down, When I finish this song, I'm going to fly. The old okay. lady said, Oh my god, I know this one. There's only about 30 seconds left. The old man then quickly turned to me and said, You know what to do. <laughs> Tiedät mitä tehdä, voisit vaikka kuolla hetkenä <laughs> monta kertaa. Vanha, vanha herran pitäisi tähän turvallisuuteen ehkä kiinnittää vähän huomiota täällä. Joo. 
Oh no. En ollut tarpeeksi. Se oli vähän ikävä. Ja se saa olla kohtuullisen nopeeta muuten. Herra Filtoni lentää pienipäissä. Joo, ei tonne. Yeah. En, en ollut tarpeeksi nopea. <laughs> Liian hätänä. Ja hätäinen tässä näin. Viimeinen hyppy on aika, aika tota noin niinku... Ei, ei saa vaan yksinkertaisesti kuolla tässä. By the time I had made it up to the roof, Mr. Silton was beside the edge. I tried to calm him down. But he was acting more disturbed than usual. Hehehehe. 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 Local idiot. Uh, Android and hero. After an hour or so, Mr. Silton was fine. He said he had eaten some bad magic mushrooms. No need, but interesting. Part of me wondered why he hadn't doubled in size. Still, <laughs> he was soon laughing and joking with the paramedics. One of them said he looked like the world's worst clown. I don't think Mr. Silton liked that. So he told his own joke. But that just made the other paramedic call him Marshmallow Marso. I don't think he liked that either, but at least he was still in one piece. <laughs> A month or so later, Heather and I were playing video games. Last adventure. When the old man <laughs> said he wanted me to come outside, he said it had been a year since I had arrived. So, he had a present for me. Oh. He placed the teddy bear high up on a wooden platform. He then told me I should try to pick it up. <laughs> try as I might, I couldn't reach the teddy bear. However, I still don't understand what happened next. Sain sydän kohtauksen ilmeisesti. Pinokki. 
Tokio. Se on, kuolema on osa elämää. Ja se on sellainen asia, mitä meidän yhteiskunnassa ei hirveästi puhuta. Siitä, että niin kun elämä on loppujen lopuksi, sä joudut tosi paljon niin, ää, menettämään asioita. Et niin kun, ensiksi nuoruus menettää ja sitten ehkä terveydestä joutuu luopumaan. Ja puolisosta ja ihmisistä ja työpaikasta ja monista muista asioista. Et se, että niinku elämässä jo lopumaan aika monesta asiasta, niin se tulee ajankohtaiseksi, että eh- ehkä, ehkä niinku sitten vasta vanhemmiten enemmänkin, mutta saattaa jo nu- nuorenakin. Ja robotin kannalta tämä on, niinku, että se niinku kasvatti isä kuolee kohtaukseen, niin se on ne as- asia, mitä Näköjään se ei pysty oikein käsittelemään, että se täytyy niinku nuijia käyntiin. Juu. Ihan, ihan totta, että pelit on er, erinomainen media sen takia, että ne herättää myös aika paljon tunteita. Ja myöskin käsittelee tosi vakavia aiheita. Minkä takia sen vanha mies niin hommas tämmöisen robottipojan, niin, kuin, niin, niin mä kuvittelisin, että se halusi olla isä, että se ei ollut, tai sitten niillä oli ollut poika, paljon mahdollista myöskin, mutta että hän niin halusi olla isä, ja, ja niin ennen, ennen kuolemansa sai sitten olla, ja tehdä ton kanssa kaikkea jännää. Kuitenkin elämässä on tosi tärkeää, että voi niin omia, omia juttuja opettaa eteenpäin niin seuraavalle, seuraavalle sukupolvelle. Tämä menee tosi taiteelliseksi. Mm, kyllä. Kyllä, tytär löytyy, mutta ei, ei poikaa vanhalta herralta. Was I dead? Was this heaven? Uh, so it sort off. of looked like the basement bathroom. It was the shoes the old man was going to give me. I thought I might as well put them on. They were just the right size. 
The old man's hat fit me pretty good as well. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if I wore it. Amazingly, the shoes allowed me to defy gravity. Or maybe it was the hat. <laughs> okay, the first time I bought it. Okay. <laughs> right. Uusia näkökulmia elämää voi saada kato, katossa roikkumalla. Pieni 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 muuttuu vieläkin hu hullummaksi. Okay. Et, kuka painovoima on siis muuttunut suuntaan? Part of the basement was flooded, and the stairs had collapsed. I didn't know what was going on, but I knew I wanted to get back upstairs. Okay, I'm trying to mend the human eye at this point. The gate was locked. I would need a key to open it. Turvallisuus ei ole muuttunut. Onneksi tuossa on se tähän nuolet. Mikä se oli peli, peli missä oli niinku... Muutamassa muussakin. Tässä on hyppelyperissä on joutunut vaihtamaan suuntaa. Yksi on ehkä kuuluisimmista niin Feds, missä, missä niin kuin vaihdetaan 3, 3D sekä 2D maailman välillä. Mikä on sellainen? Niin kuin... On ihan hyvä toi, toi kravaatti, kun se näyttää, näyttää painovoiman suunnan. Super Mario Galaxy osittain. Ah, hyvä, nyt mä taju. How long had I been asleep? Months? Years? I was so confused. Where had everybody gone? Tätä se paikka missä oli juhlia. I was slightly scared. This was the first time I had been outside on my own. Vuodi rekiä kaikki. Jaha. Kolmannen maailmansodan jälkeen tai jotain sitä päin. I knew what I had to do. This had to be my purpose. I would clean a million things, so I could become a real boy. Whatever that meant. Se on tota noin aika yleinen trooppi se kolmas maailmansota niinku, että sä nukahdat ja heräät sitten niinku, kun yhteiskunta on romahtanut. No, 
Nyt se pitää toisella kerralla hatusta kiinni. Minkä se pistää kaikki nää ruoskat mulle? The screaming was coming from one of the bedrooms, but the stairs were blocked by a wall of fire. Ei kave kertaa itää olla. Robotti ei tarvitse ilmaa, mutta ilmeisesti robotti sulaa tulessa. The people screaming turned out to be a man, a woman, and their children. They were confused and terrified. At first the man looked like he was ready to fight me, but after I convinced them that I was there to help, he calmed down. There was no way I could carry them all at once, so the children went first. I dropped the children off at the front door and promised them that I would be back with their parents. Oh. I couldn't leave, not while people were in trouble. Oops. Next oli loputtomat elämät vähän häkki päälläni. I was getting much worse, so the woman went next. No, it's still up to the engine. When we got to the front door, all the woman said was, Thank you, please hurry. Okei, nyt mun täytyy varmasti toista ovea käyttää. Ei ollut. Tosi pesä. Miten kyllähän kummassa on? Joo. 
Ah, I need to send one to cut the okay. to get back, the man was unconscious. I had to pick him up quickly, as I could tell the house was going to collapse at any moment. Pääsi ulos sen syntikin. I helped the family set up a tent so they had somewhere to stay. The kids were excited as they got the camp outside, but I think they knew they had just lost their home. When I mentioned my quest to clean a million things, the man said I should look through the rubble of the house, as they had no use for it. So, when everyone was making dinner, I looked through the wreckage. There wasn't anything I could clean, but to my astonishment, I found a TV set and a games <laughs> console. <laughs> With a bit of fiddling, I was able to get them to work. So I sat playing games with the kids until their parents said it was bedtime. As we talked, the man opened a bottle of wine. I asked what had happened, why was everything so ruined? The man looked at the woman, then the woman sighed and said, There was a war. Yes, mm, a war, said the man. One side of the planet attacked the other, and before we knew, it was all over. Everything gone. <laughs> Everything destroyed. Rough. Well, it's late, said the woman. We should really get some sleep. Help yourself to anything you need. And we'll see you tomorrow. In the morning, I asked the man if he knew what had caused the fire that had destroyed their house. The man smiled, crap old house, bad woman with the surges from the unreliable power plant. Take your pick. He said, if we had the money. We'd move to the mainland, but we can barely feed ourselves, let alone buy a new house, so for now we're left here with the rest of the scum. But he did say I should head to the mainland, as there would be plenty there for me to clean, and a better quality of rubbish. The man said, before the war, my lovely wife used to be a fisherman. Fisherwoman? Fishing person? I used to catch fish, interrupted the woman, and... Seeing as you saved us all from a fiery end, maybe you would like to borrow my boat ah. to get to the mainland. I was a little scared, but then they gave me some captain software and I was an old salty sea dog within minutes. <laughs> Päivi tyksiä vaan. Kiit tuolla veneellä varmaan pääsee johonkin. Täällä tais olla oikealla jotain roskaa mitä pystyy keräilemään. The gate was locked. I would need a key to open it.
Ah, tännekin pääsin. Kolmestaan chunkia vielä löytyisi tästä tasosta. Tuolta päin. Mä tiputtaudun tästä näin niinku vaan... <laughs> Voit kokeilla lentää taivaaseen. Ää, onko, se, onko se turvallista? Ei varmaan kyllä. Kuolen, mutta se on aika hieno dessa-animaatio. <laughs> kyllä. Täytyy kuolla sitten, kun on kaikki roskat kerätty, niin... Joo, no. 282. Okei. Okay. Kokeillaan sitten. <laughs> Niinpä tietysti. Me olemme kiertorella. Ei, ei haittaa, vaikka jää keski. Joo. Päädymme, päädymme avaruuteen. Missä täällä on lisää roskaa? Cheating gravity. The gate was locked. I would need a key to open it. The gate was locked. I would need a key to open it. Okei, okay, täällä on käyty. Okei, ihmiset heittää pois. I was surprised to see an old man, but not as surprised as he was. It turned out he was blind. He was kneeling <laughs> on the floor with his hand in a drain. When I asked him what he was doing, he said his cat had crawled into the pipes and okay. he was trying to get her out. Veden alla. He was very happy when I ah. offered to help. He said there was Niinpä no way tietysti. we could reach her from here, so if I was willing, I could make my way through the sewers and get her from the other end. He said he would turn off the water for as long as possible, but I would have to run, as the pipes would soon fill up again. I happily agreed. So he gave me a key. He said this will open all the sewer gates. Go through here, then down the ladder, and through the big door at the bottom. Gary Camel. Okay. Tän nimi. No entry. I better run. Se ei vitsailu, että pitää juosta. I better run.
Tää on varmaan speedrunnaajien Merkki uni tää peli myö Joo, kun se saa olla aika nopea tässä kyllä Tota, kistetään sit tähän näin nyt hetkeksi Ah, se aalto tulee. Perustan on ja kissojen pelastaminen on aika vaarallista. harmittelemaan sitä maailmassa riittää roskia.
vähän oikeasta tosiaan. The old man's cat. Oof. She was fine. Patience, a young patient. player. Patience, keski ikästyvä pelaaja. It looked like me, but it shambled around like something from the film we watched on Halloween. Uh oh. He's up. Kuka paljon siellä on robotteja sillä vanhalla miehellä? The man was happy to have his cat back. He looked so content with her sat on his lap. I told him about the thing I saw, but he just laughed and said, Those bastard robots, they're always getting up through the pipes. Don't worry though, it'll never get through the big doors. If I had my way, we'd have blown up the lot of them when we had the chance. Hmm. I wasn't sure what he meant. But I decided now wouldn't be the best time to tell him I was a robot. <laughs> okay. The man laughed <laughs> and said, "Don't worry, I know who you are." Mm -hmm. And told me that he knew the old man. Ah. As we chatted, the man brewed himself some tea. He said that he had worked for the old man. In fact, he had lost his sight in one of the old man's factories. Strangely, he smiled at this thought. He always did me right, he said. When I had my accident, the old man said he would look after me. And he did. He always made sure I had enough money, and he let me move into this old pumping station on his land. Which reminds me, I have something here for you. He rummaged around behind the cupboard. Then he continued saying, The old man wanted you to have this when you were old enough, but fate wouldn't allow it. He passed me a large box. It was empty. I thought about pretending to be excited, but the man said, Wait a minute. It's empty, isn't it? <laughs> he slumped back in his chair. I was robbed a few months ago. He said, almost in a whisper. Yeah. It's strange, they took practically anything metal, but left loads of food and a brand new saxophone. The man looked sad, so I thought I would try to change the subject. I told him about my quest, to clean a million things. This at least made him smile. He said I was welcome to go back through the pipes anytime I wanted, huh. as there were loads of old things in there that could be cleaned away. Hän on robottiosia varastanut. Tää on niinku semmonen side quest ilmeisesti, mikä voi tehdä. Kai sitten. Jos haluaa. Hyvin on romua kerätty kyllä. Ja näköjään noita esineitä, mitä... Tässä voi tälle robotille kerätä on kymmenisen kappaletta. Pistää Audi taskuun kanssa. Suunnassakin hypätä. Tai... 
putkittaa tuota painovoimaa. Aika hauska. Mites täällä täällä? Täällä on jotain. Tämä muistuttaa yllättävän paljon vanhoja Metroid-pelejä ja muita tämmöisiä näin niin ihan, ihan kovan tason tasohyppelyitä. Parhaita ideoita niin kuin kierrätetty. The gate was locked. I would need a key to open it. Ja ideakopiointi on itse asiassa hyvä, hyvä juttu, että peleissä niin kierrätetään parhaita ö, pelimekaniikkoja muun muassa. Et, niin kun on, on huonoja ja hyvää kopiointia, se on, niin kun, koska joku voi ottaa sun idea ja tehdä siitä paremman version. Niin. Jaha, no robot on ilmeisesti peden kestäviä. Tää varmaan tarvis jonkun sukellusnaamarin tai semmosen, joo, esisuojauksen, että voi saa noin. Kerättyä tuolta veden alta. Esisuojauksen. Tuo on rakettireppu. Tää chip tunee musiikki. Okei, jos tästä... Ei. Okei, ei. On vielä yksi taso. Se on tarpeeksi ohjattua tuossa tuota tippumista. Tuota twistiä, joo. Ihan vähän nopeus. Ai 
toi meni tossa. Mitä mä nyt tänne selvitään? Grrr. Ouch. Paul Helman on Nero, niin, niin se kyllä taitaa vähän ollakin. Tässä on ihan todella nerokkaita nää osa näistä putsleista. Ne myös ärsyttää jonkin verran, mutta mä ei anna sen vaivata yksin joo. Joo, nää Intia-pelit on sellainen hauskoja. Jonkin aikaan pelailin niitä tosi paljon. Mua vaan harmittaa toi, kun mä en... Näet tuon robotin liikkeelle. I had to be careful. The electricity was going haywire in some places. Täällä takaisin. Tämä on tämä paikka. Okei, miten me päästään ulos? <laughs> Hyviä kysymyksiä. I took the fisherman's boat to the mainland. The fisherman was right. Everything was in pieces. Everything had been destroyed. I docked the boat in some ruins. They must have once been a town. All right. Hey, uh, mielenkiintoinen peli. Tosi tosi hauska niinku tasohyppely. Ähm, mä tässä tässä vaiheessa tosiaan niinku toivottaa hyvää kesän jatkoa. Jatkanen striimailua vähän myöhemmin. Katsoin nyt pystyykö juhannuksena striimaamaan jotain varmaan Dark Soulsia. <laughs> Eli juhannusta ja Dark Soulsia. Mm. No joo, katsotaan. Mutta hei, nauttikaa kesästä. <laughs>